Miss Minute is one of the most important characters in the Loki TV series, and we've heard previously that there was some very interesting and very radically different designs when it came to the character. We finally got a look at some of these, and believe me when I say, they're definitely different, and some of them are definitely insane. So, let's talk about them. You guys know I love concept art because sometimes we get concept art that you look at it and you really just wonder why they didn't end up going with what you're looking at. Obviously, they believe they picked the best one in the end, but sometimes there's clearly better choices that most fans look at and go, they're probably saving that for down the road. Miss Minute is an interesting one because her design, in my opinion, is perfect in the series. And looking at some of the rejected ones that I'm going to toss up here, you guys are going to see what I'm talking about. So let's look at splash screen number one. So let's talk about completely different. And you see the evolution here. Like you see the character was called Miss Minute. So they were going for a very much, hey, could we possibly include a sort of female look to this character even more? Incorporating like an old classic throwback 40s 50s 60s hairdo and things like that obviously with the eyes the glasses and everything it just looks very strange honestly some of these stick out to me as just they would not have worked and you see some of these even that look more closer to or at least going in the direction of what we ended up getting the second page is completely different you can see that now they're starting to evolve the look of miss minute and you see what they're going for almost reminding me of classic 20s to 40s cartoons, almost having some of that like Fleischner vibe to it, which again, I love those looks. They're classic and they're iconic for a reason, but here they just look, how do I describe this? I think it would have stuck out too much. It would have taken away your focus, if that makes sense. But then I left one more so we could talk about this one specific. And this one, in my opinion, is the epitome of over-design and over-complicated. This is when you've done too much. As George Lucas says, you might have gone too far in a couple places here. And you just need to dial this back. No pun intended. Ultimately, we got, I think, the best design. Now, certainly, I would love to see some of these make an appearance in, like, variants of the TVA that could show up in Season 2 and whatever. I think that would be interesting, but the main one, the one we got, I think was honestly the best choice. So what do you guys think of some of these and what's your impression? And you guys like seeing things like this, because to me, this is what makes all these comic book things special, where you look at some of the designs and how they're taking things from the comics and history and using it to inform modern designs. And you always get things that look good or sometimes don't look good on paper, but they make your mind race as to the what if. 